The move last selection to next find match command shifts the current selection to the next instance of the currently selected text. Now this is probably easier to understand with a demonstration. So in this TypeScript file, I'm going to select the word info up here. And then I'm going to run the command from the command palette using control shift P or command shift P and then saying move last selection. And I want the move last selection to next find match command. You can see there is a key binding for this on Windows and Linux. It is control K, control D. On Mac, it is command K, command D. And when I go and I run this command, you can see that the selection has shifted down to the next occurrence of the word info in the file. So my selection started up here and then it's gone down here and it's just shifted that selection around so I can now start typing down here if I wanted to. I'm going to select info again and if I just run this command again, this time using the keyboard shortcut, again that is control K, control D or command K, command D. You can see that again my selection has gone and shifted to the next instance of info in the file. Now there is also a move to previous selection command so I can open up the command palette with control shift P or command shift P and say move last selection. And you can see that there's a move last selection to previous find match command. And that will go and shift it to the previous instance of, in this case, the selected word, which is info. So it's gone and shifted up there. You could also set up a key binding for that if you're finding yourself using that more often. These commands both let you quickly navigate through instances of selected text in a file without having to use the mouse.